Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So I got a little bit of extra time to record today. Uh, the shoot that I had tonight was cancelled. It's going to be going on tomorrow night, so that's kind of a bonus. So I'll be able to record a few episodes tonight. Most likely I'm going to re re uh, release them one at a time though, uh, only because I may not have a chance to record tomorrow, so I want to make sure you guys have an episode at least every day to watch. So, uh, so for Falcon Freeborn, let's have a look here. Um, we jumped systems because we were way behind Comstar lines. Uh, I don't know what Comstar is doing here, but they're like doing something, trying to split split Jade Falcon and uh, um, Ghost Bear up here. I don't know, but we jumped. We were like somewhere in here. We jumped back here. It's a Comstar uh, occupied planet right now that we're going to take on. It's Kobe four and a half skulls. It's only a 13 day jump. That gave us enough time to get our mechs repaired and do a few other things. Um, so if we have a look at the mech bigs. I'm, I only made a couple of minor adjustments, and for some reason, what's up with the Dire Wolf now? Uh, what do we got here? Uh, we're under tonnage. Why are we under tonnage? How did we get under tonnage? Oh, because I put the light... Okay, so what we did here is... Um, um, I took out the, a the uh, AMS with the ammo in the case and dropped in a laser AMS and a light tag, which we had taken up one of the other mechs, and I'll show you in a second here. Uh, so we got half a ton left, eh? Really? Really? I don't think we really have anything we can put in for half a ton. I mean, micro pulses or whatever, but 120 meter range, 240 meter range, ER micro lasers. 10 damage each, yeah. Half a ton, we could put in like, I don't know, small laser or something maybe. ER small is what? Half a ton? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's drop an ER small in. Uh, let's put it on the arm, because why not? Alright. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, what I ended up doing was... was this, okay, which one is which here? Alright. Uh, so, the Timberwolf D. We have a look at this guy. I put the weapon mount on him, um, and I had to take out the tag because I didn't have really room and weight to be able to do that. So I took the tag out. There was a UAV, and I took a little bit of armor off the back. Took those out, put the weapon mount on for the rotary auto cannon 5. Uh, definitely a better situation for sure, and actually I should check and see. I don't think we picked up a clan rack 5 in the past little while, but if we did, I should probably switch that out too. Um, it's been a while since I played, so just give me a second here. I probably should have checked that. No, I didn't. Don't have one. I got a pirate version, but I'm not going to go that route. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick with this for now. Uh, so yeah, that's all I did with this guy. Just you know, it's going to give us much better accuracy, so that's why I did that. And uh, Timberwolf, see, no, the Black Knight. Um, we had an upper energy. Um, um, arm mount so I put it on this guy and it ended up just uh, was adding a ton so I ended up putting in some uh, we had plenty of slots left so I put in some uh, patchwork materials to bring it up uh, back up to regular weights we didn't lose any armor or anything off this guy but we do gain a little bit of accuracy for the PPC and large laser in the one arm here so that's going to help out for the second lance um, now there was some comments about the catapult here too, uh, and they're totally valid. Maybe reducing the LRM 20s down to uh, 15s and putting some lasers in just for staying power. I totally agree. I will be making some changes, but right now I wanted to get into some fighting, so we're going to leave it as it is for now. Uh, so let's take this day and get the dire wolf back. Man, it's been ah, 12 days to the end of the month. All right, but we got some really great contracts here to take today, so we're going to have a look here. We're going to try the Intelligence Agent one here. Uh, five Skull. Um, one, of the op one of our operatives was captured by Comstar Patrol, so we're supposed to go in and rescue her and the data. So we're going to go ahead and do that. This is great too. We've got another priority mission we can take when we leave the planet. It's nine days away, which is awesome, but uh, once again, it's priority, so we should get some good salvage stuff out of that. So let's negotiate this. We're going to go full salvage and accept. It's not going to cover our drop cost, but there's not much we can do about that. Actually, you know what? Since we have this lance in, uh, where are you, Hannibal? Let's go back here. We got the second lance in, so let's let's do the second lance contract first. Ah, come on. Why give me the option if you won't let me choose it? 
All right, so we can do a three and a half or a four skull corporate secrets. Um, both of them are against Jade, Cal uh, Jade Falcon. It's a recovery mission. Um, so could end up being turrets and, a, and um, a lance or a couple of lances, but we're going to take this one here. So let's negotiate this. I'm going to go full salvage. We'll take the second lance in. It's a four skull. I think we should probably be okay. Uh, let's pull the storm crow out. Uh, bring the catapult in. Um, and I think I'll switch up the exterminator and the catapult. The exterminator now um, is the ATM loadout uh, as opposed to the Artemis system. So I'm hoping this works out, but we'll have to find out. Um, only one way to know that, uh, and that's to get in and do it. Um, so let's let's get into battle here. Uh, it's a four skull, so I, I hope we're okay, but let's just see how it goes. Okay. Comstar facility. Okay, not so bad. So we're gonna. Yeah, let's do this like we normally do. Make some snow angels, eh? Let's not underestimate them. Ready for orders. And I should have, I realized after I changed the pilots, and, and I should have left um, Judge uh, with the catapult. Um, only because Avalanche has got the uh, the second level of the um, piloting trait, which is, uh, I can't even remember what the hell it's called now. But it gives her the ability to have more evasion, and the ATM mech is going to be in closer closer quarters so let's just keep it slow here we got a bushwhacker we got a catapult okay what do you need I need you to say hello to somebody for me can you do that I'll do what I can. thanks let's say hello to this catapult let them know that we're here if you don't mind yeah see she's got phantom mech right Plot to increase in evasion so it would have been much better on the exterminator. I should have used it. I should. I'll have to remember that for the next time. But so this guy's got a pair of LRM twenties and two small lasers, eh? So it's a sta pretty pretty standard loadout. Confirmed. Here it comes. Start stripping that armor off. Waiting for orders. Coordinates. Now we can use ATMs on these guys, but we're gonna hold off. Orders. I don't want to be using up all my. Uh, ammo at low percentage chances to hit, especially with the ATM. Waiting for order. They're not moving, which means they don't know we're here yet. Well, they know we're here. Uh, they don't know where we are. That's the difference. On my way. Okay, so what's our chance to hit now? 21, yeah. See, there's no point. Yeah. Let's move. So, what's our chance in the Bushwhacker 54? 47. Uh, let's keep stripping the catapult. Targeting for an I know we had less of a chance to hit, but Manda. we've already applied a lot of damage, so I want to keep doing that. Good to go. Stay very, very quiet. Uh, let's get you around this way. Well, they're not going to see you. I don't know why you're worried. I've got the chameleon system. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's keep going up to the trees. Moving out. What do you need? Stay in the trees. What else do we got here? We got a white and a sura. All right, let's just keep visiting the catapult. Ooh. I think that was an ammo explosion, if I had to guess. If I had to make a guess, I'd say it was ammo. Yep. Alright, I don't think you need to go anywhere now. Bushwhacker's our next target, please. Firing. Fire. I think he's got an AMS, but he sure as hell ain't AMSing 80 rounds. Keep moving up, please. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Standing by. Almost in position to strike him here. Yes, Commander. On the move. We can do this. Let's go. Good 
Ooh, yeah, I like that look. I like that. MDGX, 75 tons, eh? Well, we got some pretty good chances to hit, so let's take them. Okay, two hits. What do you need? There's an MDGX over here that doesn't look so Understood. so nice. Can we uh, help remove him? Now, I don't think I put any other... Oh, we got dead fire ammo. That's right. <laughs> That's for point blank range. All right, let's drop another 80 on him. We got lots of ammo. I made sure we had more than enough ammo for this. Ah, we can't get that mech, eh? What if we sprint? We'll be giving ourselves away if we do that, though. And just walk it up here. Still can't see us, eh? Well. I know it doesn't seem like the best move, but damn, look at those chances to hit. That's Warlord him. OP. And I think we're gonna go, uh, Torso? It's got 137 in the torso. Target the torso. What if we go with, um... Let's go HE on this sucker. Let's hammer him. There we go. One less target. You got three of the 27, eh? Yeah. It's raining. It's raining lerms. Um, doing more damage against this guy, so. Waiting on you, Commander. Hannibal, the cannibal. So I'm liking the performance so far of this lance. Well, this battle particularly. Yes, Commander. Let's, uh... Showing the what for here. And yep. Mini awesome. Yep. No point in going anywhere. Scored a critical hit. Nicely done, he's going down too. Have a seat, buddy. Oh, he disappeared. Move forward, see if we can reacquire him. Ah, uh, there we go. Nicely done. Yes. Yes, nicely done. On my way. All right, let's target him. Uh, his leg's gone. Let's go after the other one. Uh -huh. and there's, more where that came from. there's always more where that came from. That white vanished now. What's he got left here? 21. Fire all three. Just make sure we get it. Okay, got him. One less target. Well, thank you. Like it very much. Receiving you. Waiting for orders. Uh, let's reserve. Um, yeah, a little bit better chance with the number. We're going to take pot shots. Getting a sneaky suspicion that um, yeah. this is all it's going to be. I don't think there's going to be any more after this firing. All weapons fire. It's taking a lot of half damages there, but doesn't really matter. getting hammered, so that's all that matters. Oh! That's going to hurt. 
You bet it is. You friggin' bet it is. I hear ya. Can you see him? At all? Really? Alright. Alright. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna stay right here. Good for now. Cool if there is reinforcements, then uh, we're in a good firing position. Christ, she laughs just like I do. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you need? All right, let's just hammer the. Sorry, that that laugh was just brilliant. Firing. Yeah, he's taking it, taking it like a champ. Oh yeah. Christ, my lance is as happy as I am right now. The hell. Firing. Goodbye. That might do it. That might do it. Good to go. The asset has been secured. And it's there it is, folks. All right, forty-nine thousand. So we made out excellent on this one. We didn't actually cost anything except for ammo cost, which is nothing. Why does my catapult have no head? Why does my catapult have no head? Did I put in the... Armored cowl? What the hell? My catapult doesn't have a head. I'm not ar I mean, I'm not arguing it, but... Like... Okay, sure. Whatever. All right, we're looking for components first. So let's look for, um, gonna go down here. Definitely, ooh, equaling system's nice. Um, we've got a, we got a couple of these, right? We got we don't have any. Um, tier three. Yeah. Okay. Now we need. We said we needed double heat sinks, right? Because we wanted to build a, a energy build on the. Um, I really think I should take some of these. We want to put an energy build on the um, exterminator, or at least be able to run ex energy weapons without having to to change out the heatsink kit, which is actually pretty pretty good heatsink kit in there right now. Um, let's take the 330 core, and I'm going to take this for selling because we do need to make our our financial report at the end of this month. Ah, uh, I don't know. Like we don't have any of these mechs, so the 330 core might be beneficial at some point. Let's just take this and wait, uh, wait, how much is this worth? 2.5. This is worth 2.5 as well, right? Yeah, it's the same. It doesn't really matter. Um, okay, let's do that. So one, two, three of these uh, MDGs. Asura, eh? One, two, three bushwhacker parts. We may have other whacker parts, so let's find out. Catapult part, white part, and a bunch of stuff we can sell. All right, the patchwork is the best piece of this, I think. So, all right, so I'm not going to argue with the zero damage mission. That was really great. God, Comstar, what are you... God, these guys, man. Okay, 5,000. One day for repairs. So, not bad. Uh, let's have a look... Really quick here, the star map. I'm uh, interested to see. Comstar is at 82%. Why are we at zero still? Like, if we pull a mission off, shouldn't I? Uh, whatever. Whatever. We're going to start trying to keep flipping this. Actually, you know what? Let's. Uh, I want to make sure here something. Um, let's go to my rep here. We are still allied, right? Yeah, we're still allied with Jade Falcon, so why are we not getting... I don't know. Does it matter? No. 
because we're going to go with this one this time. Let's negotiate this sucker. Full salvage. Taking our main lance down. Go kick some more Comstar. Atch. Okay, Griff. Give me some Griff. Give me some Mockingbird. Give me some Six Pack. Give me some Rhino. And let's load up here. Yo. Yo. Uh, this is the Ultra 20 version, which is Rhino's Mac. So D and C. All right, let's do this. Okay, we got a double lance situation right here. All right. Uh, question becomes, I think I tried to go this way once before. I don't think you can get up this side on the, of the water here. I think we need to go straight forward and take this base first. We'll be getting fired on pawn from the hill up here, but I'm not that worried about it. Uh, so let's start moving this direction. We got the tools, we got the talent. Let's just show them what we can do here. I'm going to be uh, interested to see how much better our rack accuracy is now with that plus three. Uh, minus one recoil targeting. Weapon mount, that will be nice. So we know what we're up against. I don't want to go very fast here. Okay, we got Mahler, Winston, Catapult, Heavy Missile Carrier. Okay, now makes me wish I had long-range weapons here. Lerms, that is. On my way. I'm gonna crank this sucker up so I don't forget here. I've got something. I wish you could tell me what that something is. Because I can't see it. Um Let's confirm on this warlord and hopefully kill this thing. Nicely done. Thank you, Mockingbird. Have I asked you to marry me yet? I think I have. Multiple episodes I've asked you to marry me because you're so awesome. We need to maul the mauler. The crap pulse coming. I don't know if we can get eyes on. We can get eyes on him. What's that? Spectre? Okay. Not so worried about that. I'm more worried about the Spectre getting eyes on us. Um, I think you need to maneuver and fire. Aye, aye. So I've been thinking recently about what I would change about the skill system, if anything. And I don't mind the three perks per pilot idea. But honestly, I'm like, it's kind of interesting, but I think those, oh, it's an awesome. I think those um, perks just for me aren't really working. So my proposal would be, um, you know how when you get up to level five in a skill, you gain that perk? Um, so let me figure this out here. Um, let's just shoot on this guy here. Yeah. I think we can probably pull this guy down this turn. But that so my thought behind it was that um, you would gain skills normally up to level 4, right? So all your pilots gain your abilities. And now it's all, so you would all have passive abilities for all your skills. Like we have now, right? Every skill's got a passive ability from level 1 to 10, right? So that stays in play. But what changes is, uh, after I hit this guy with an Ultra 20, uh, okay, one hit. Um, what would end up happening is, let's get over to 
here. Um, so at level five, whenever you got to that that point first, like for instance, let's say you went up through gunnery, got to, got to level five, rather than there being a, like a select ability at level five, um, that level five would give you. I'm just gonna be hearing a second here. I'm figuring out what I'm gonna do here. I know I got you all in suspense now. Like what? What AD? What would that level give you? Give you the ability to destroy catapults is what it does. See ya. So what it does is it gives you the multi-target ability, right? Now any any pilot, no matter what at what point they've they've gotten to that um, five skill, would gain that extra ability. So let's say you get to the multi-target ability level five. Now all of a sudden the other three categories, the cost to go from four to five jumps up, right? So you can still get all, you can still get Juggernaut, you can still get, um, um, what's it called? Fire Maneuver, whatever that one's called again, Ace Pilot. Um, but it's just going to cost you more to go up in those. And then once you get to level 8 in Firearms, or, or, pi or um, yeah, in, uh, yeah, I'm in Gunnery, uh, we're going to target this other guy. Uh, so once you get to level 8 in gunnery, it then makes all the other categories, once again, one more level difficult. Right? So, all of the other categories become secondary abilities. You can still, you can still grab all of the, um, all of the perks for each of those abilities in each of the trees. Um, but it's just going to cost you a lot more to get there. So that when you have... At the end, when you have an elite pilot that's all tens, they have all of the abilities, hit, which makes them far more versatile. And and you, you you'll be the pilots that you have like a lot of experience on. You'll cover them even more because you can't afford to lose them. Is he going down? Go down. It's not going down. Crap. Is he going to fire, though? Figuring out a firing solution. I've been Dumbass. Should have fired. I'm going to step up and try and get in front of her. Finish him. Still going, eh? Should be going down, though. No? Anyway, that's just my thought. So you don't just get like, you know, a double level skill in one and a single level skill in another. You gain all the skills, but it just takes you forever to get there, right? Just increases the difficulty. So you can have a jack of all trades pilot that's pretty good in a bunch of stuff, right? So if you go to f level five, let's say, then bring up level five and the other ones, you can be pretty good in just about everything, or you can continue down one line and be great at a lot of stuff. And I'm going to save you for somebody else, because I think I want to go after this guy now. Copy that. Okay, there's a start. Waiting for orders. No, we need a side shot on this guy. There we go. Copy that. Finish him, please. Brace all you want, ain't going to save your ass. Anyway, just a thought. So, for instance, Mockingbird right now, that's that, you know, her skills are like uh, two, uh, three tens and a nine. They wouldn't be anywhere near that. I may have ten in gunnery, but the other ones would be far lower. But I would have the ability to use the skills in those trees, too. That's the one thing I don't really like about the, the skill system in this is like I know you're trying to specialize the pilots and give them the ability to be able to do certain things but I, I just don't I, the way it's working now I don't, I'm not a really big fan of it so uh, yeah bet you he's crapping his pants right about now 
So there's got to be two other guys over there. Oh, that's, that's the ghost. So there's an awesome and something else. Awesome's over here. I think we're going to play the range game. I think we're going to pull back. I'm going to bring um, Rhino down here to deal with the Winston. But we're going to pull back with the long range guys here. I want to deal with that Spectre and get him out of here. Still going to close, eh, with an open CT. Okay. You do you, buddy. You do you. Double time. Let's go. I know he's... Wow, that's going to be really hard to hit. Um... You know what? Let's just cool our rack down. Don't have to push it. You can't attack anybody from there? I guess because you're not in the hill anymore. I could see that guy from somewhere. Where was it? From over here. Mm, I don't want to move forward though. Let's just go back here. It'll be easier to hit this guy anyway. Just fire on him. Okay, one hit. Mm, yeah. That's a lot of damn armor. 200 on the back, eh? See if we can get lucky on it. I can't even hit the back. What? Forget it. Just shoot him. Shoot him! Galahad, okay. Couple light AB. Okay, it's not so bad. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Should have moved further than that. Should have moved further. There's the awesome. All right. Now I think we've got awesome parts, if I'm not mistaken. Damage is light. Is that like a standard awesome? That's only forty damage. I wonder if he's got like pirate PPCs or something that's like giving a damage drop off. I don't know. Ah, he's turning his side on me. Waiting for orders. Rolling. See if we can get this guy gone. Oh yeah, man. Uh, let's let's give him a game over swing. Oh, not quite. Good damage though. Make sure we stay in the trees. Confirmed. Oh, we got a visual on this guy. See ya! That's a kill. <laughs> that is a kill. Yes, Commander. Um, let's vigilance this. Now, where did we hit this guy before? Far side, eh? How much how fast are we here? We can't get that side, can we? We cannot. Let's get around behind him, though. Fire. Target lock on the enemy. God, those medium-proof heavy lasers, they do nice damage when they hit, but... They're not hitting very often. All right, let's ghost the ghost. Enemy mech 
Okay. Let's see what they do here. Okay, shot down a bunch of the missiles. Awesome. Eight of them, anyway. Although I have to say, you know, the benefit about being in this AC-20 mech is the AC-20s, I mean, they don't... Like, now I'm on fire, right? Well, I'm not. Why am I not on fire? thought for sure I would have been. Anyway, with these medium improved heavy lasers, I just turn one of them off if I'm if I'm on fire and have no problems. Oh, see, I said last last turn those medium improves never hit. They did this time, both of them. All right, now we need to strip this awesome of stuff. Uh, what's our chance to hit here? Not bad. So we're gonna go for awesome parts. Let's start with the legs. Let's start by missing and. Hitting all the troops in the woods. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. How often does that happen with you, though, girl? Like almost never. Waiting for orders. Okay, Pac-Man. Let's uh, get rid of this Galahad for me, will ya? Yeah, that weapon mount. Good choice, putting that in the arm for sure. Let's see if we can get rid of this Galahad. See if we can get him gone here. Oh. Murdering damage, man. It's going down. Have a seat, buddy. Ooh, something blew up. It's all yours, buddy. It's all yours. Uh, let's go with that torso. I think that was the other torso. Some heavy He's a stick. Commander. He's a stick. Waiting for orders. Um. Yeah, he's a stick. He's got nothing left. Oh, he had two gauss rifles, eh? Well, there's no point. What's our chance to hit this guy though? Oh, you kidding me? You kidding me? Might get lucky. Eh. Might as well just stay there. <laughs> Let's just do it. I should have gone for the legs. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. It's just so much more fun to shoot for the head. When you get those headshots, like that last round where you get two headshots in a row, it's like totally worth it, right? Yes, Commander. All right, buddy. Uh, let's go after this leg because you got too many rounds to. But he's got ER PPCs. Something blew up. Critical hit, Commander. Going down. Let's pull those legs off him. Hopefully it was just the arm. Commander? Hopefully it was just the arm. Yeah. Uh, let's get you on this leg because you're the damage crazy. Well, yeah. Whoops. I need a new target. You need to, like, prove your aim. Because that wasn't supposed to be a kill. Ah, screw it. This guy can't shoot back. <laughs> ah, I don't know if that was a headshot or not. Could have just... Could have just as easily, uh... Took out his CT. Got we had the damage for it, so. Ready for order. Not sure I'm really enjoying this um, large improved heavy laser in the direwolf build out. We don't get a chance. I mean, at long range battles, 
it really doesn't get a, a chance to use it, but it's really nice for those close range battles to have those three weapons that hit for 90 each. I mean, if we had a pair of Clan Ultra 20s, we could always drop it in this guy, but the range just isn't there, right? I wonder if uh, Rhino can get that last thing now. Oh, you're so fast, girl. Doesn't really matter. Just in case. There it is, folks. Okay, so that was pretty darn satisfying. 13,000. Let's look for stuff that we can um, sell. Now, we do have awesome parts. I should just take four awesome parts. I really should. Muller part. Unless there's anything big down here. Ultra 5, no. Ballistic, no. All this stuff, no, 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 no. Prototype double heat sinks are nice. Tracker sensors. We've got one, so we don't need them anymore. All right, so there's nothing special down here that we need. These would be nice. I mean, we have a few of them, but I think at this point, let's go for mech parts. Let's just do it. If we get a couple more, I don't know. I think we've only got one version of the awesome. I don't think we've seen that many of them. Oh, we got one, two, three. We got we got all we got five awesome parts. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then one, two, three catapult parts, a ghost part, two ghost parts, Mauler part. Oh, we got all the good stuff. That's awesome. And then we can just sell this stuff. Okay. God, take it. Oh my God, Comstar, really? Oh, not a catapult, really. <laughs> How many catapults are we going to have? Uh, really? Sure. We should just sell it. Let's just see what it is here. At least that way we can make our financial report. Uh, the K5. So this has got four laser, four missile. So this is the MRM version? Is that what this is? Yeah, MRM-30 version. Anything special about it? Well, I had a prototype double heatsink kit. XL gyro. Okay, we'll get a couple of prototype double heatsinks out of this. So that was actually a good good grab here. But I think we're going to scrap it. But we'll be picking up a few things off of it. Most of the stuff we can sell. The prototype double heatsinks will kit. We'll keep uh, the engine, we'll most likely keep since we don't have any 260s available to us. Endo steel we can sell. Yeah, so that's actually a good pickup. That's a nice little juicy piece of salvage we got for free. All right, so let's scrap it. Scrapper, one million, there we go. There's our financial report. All right, since that first mission was really quick, um, let's go ahead and get our pilots back. So we can take another mission with our second lance. Uh, yeah, stay out of the mech bay, man. Yang is like... Giant is gain rebellious, eh? Stay the frig out of the mech bay. Yang has got to do his shit, man. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I um, wonder how long it would take... You know, we're going to leave the LRM-80 for now. I was thinking, I wonder how long it would take to uh, swap the catapults out. I'll, I'll leave it for now. We'll swap it between episodes. Although, um, we'll make sure we have the correct pilots in when we go with this next mission. All right. Uh, just interested to see. Was that 82% before? 22 for us, 60 for them. I don't think we'll be able to flip it. We got a three and a half right here. Corporate secrets we can take. So let's do this with the second lance. Although that's a lot of salvage. Escort mission though. It's gonna take too long. Corporate secrets definitely can do this one. Uh, yeah, full salvage. There isn't much of a price tag on this one anyway. So 
Yeah, so under my skill system, it would take quite a lot longer for anyone to um, be fully maxed out in level, which I think is better. Because by the time they get to that point, you know, they're like super, super valuable and there's like no way you want to lose them, right? So, um, yeah. Actually, we're going to switch these two around. All right, there we go. Let's do this. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught what I did there. If you missed it, remember I said I was going to make sure that, uh, you know, Judge was in the exterminator? Or, uh, sorry, Avalanche was in the exterminator because she had the uh, speed. So I switched the pilots around, but I didn't switch the mechs. So Avalanche is still in the catapult. <laughs> oh, I noticed that as soon as I clicked go, I was like, oh, for crap's sake, why do I not have a head? I got more armor and structure in the head. Why is that? The armored cowl double plus? Is that what it... Oh, right. That's that, um... Was that that thing that gave me 50... Like, a total of 30 more points for the head and... Or the armor and structure? And it split at 15-15? I think that's... Maybe that's why. I don't know. Or maybe not. Yeah, Alright, what are we doing? We're rescuing somebody, right? Is that what we're doing? Alright, we're not going to do it from here. Why the, who the hell would go down to a defilade, man? I mean, if we were sneaking, if we were a commando unit, sure, but we're in, like, friggin' 50-foot-tall robots. Why the hell would we try and sneak through a valley? It's just asking to die. What can I do for you? It's like a, hey, set up on both sides and shoot us while we walk through the valley. You're in the wrong mech, girl. No offense to you and your skills, but... You got good skills, but you should be in the other mech. Okay, what do we got here? Defiance? Centurion, okay. Yeah, picking up that Defiance in uh, Night Witches was nice. Gotta get that sucker loaded out. Well... All right, let's bring the rain. Copy that. We've got an unknown. Another catapult, eh? What's up, boss? Yep, let's hold off the ATMs. I hear ya. Twice. No, I don't. You're very, very efficient. Just, just fire. Tell me what to shoot. Nice hit. Nice hit. I want to make sure we're out of direct fire of that uh, defiance. The centurion, I think. Should be able to pull down relatively quickly. I know it's, um, I think it's the, uh, the one with the, uh, I don't know, the heavy armor or whatever it is. Can't remember the name of it. Can I remember the name of any of these guys? No. No, I can't. Confirm. Hmm. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Um. Let's move. 
Getting the angle on him. Firing. That's a lot of fours. He disappeared. Because he's shifty. He's shifty like that. Um, let's give it another turn. For the Centurion. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him hard. I don't want to be friggin' messing around with him. Let's just drop some missiles on him for now. Ah, a couple hits. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. Good to go. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Urban mech. All right. Wait, it's the RLG thirty. Rocket launcher? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. MRM-20 LB-10X, eh? It's got shit internal structure. Because I like to live dangerous. What's up, buddy? Ah, I'm not gonna push him in the head, I'm just gonna fire at him. Yep. Yeah, you know, you'd have an AMS. Let's get up here so those guys can't see us. Directly, that is. Just drop some shiz on this guy. Ooh. Got his engine. Nicely done. Good God damn. Alright, firing. Yes. One juicy hit. And now we own the upper level. Let's just move forward slightly, cool off a little bit. They don't have the juice to uh, be able to crest that hill, but we just got to keep the uh, catapult safe here. So let's rain some death on this catapult. Okay, we penetrated. <laughs> so awesome. Alright, Judge. Might as well drop some missiles. Um, I'll hit the deploy oh, because yeah, we have the HE on, that's why. There we go. That's the Irby. We don't want the Irby. We want this guy. Oh, come on. Make me reach over to for the friggin' tab key. That's what it's doing. Byron. Nice. I think I'm kind of liking that ATM loadout. I don't know. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but... Maybe we stick that route. Maybe we don't bother going with lasers on that guy. I thought about doing the SRM... Like a massive SRM-6 loadout, but... Since we can only get four launchers in, Good to go. it's not worth it. Or it's only three launchers I think we have. Uh -huh. Let's kill this turd bee. Take this. He's not having a good day. Did you see that? Did you see it? I saw it. Yep. That's what you call punishment. Let's hit this guy. Roger. Got eyes on now. See ya. That one's gone. Sure as hell is. This guy's gonna follow up really shortly behind. Fire. Yes, Commander. Good to go. I don't know. We go for the headshot. He's got 
154. If we hit with three, he's gone. The leg's gone. But all we have to do is hit with one in the head, and its head's gone. Engaging. Ah! Can't always get lucky. Yeah. Um. Let's go for some stability damage if we can. Just fire. It's a lot of leg hits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What can I do for you? I need you to take a leg off this guy for me. Do you mind? You betcha. Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, let's target this leg. See ya. Yeah, Have a seat. Ready for orders. The second lance, so far, I know this is only three and a half skulls, but they've been doing well. 51, eh? Let's not go crazy. Eesh. Now you hit his head, eh? You can't even shoot him because you kill him. Oh, man. Copy that. There we go. Okay, it's a race to the top, guys. Race to the top. Got it. Now, I don't know, think we're going to get a second lance, but we might... So if we do, let's make sure we're in positions that can support each other. Man. We're slower than the heavier, Lance. Can I knock it down here? Oh, for Christ's sake. There's something to be said about having at least one jump jet. Yep. How do you get... Oh, for Christ's sake. Yes, dun, 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 dun. Uh, Commander? Yeah, so talking about my, uh, my uh, youngest here, they've got... Um, Two days from now, they've got a uh, another day of shooting on set, so I'll be there all day. It's out of town, so what do you need? I gotta drive them. Taking a day off work for that, that'll be fun. I've been on film sets plenty of times, so that the whole set thing is like boring to me, but you know, it'll be interesting just to go and watch them Waiting do their order. thing and you know, enjoy the day. The Black Knight is fast. Good to go. Um, but yeah, you know, so it'll be fun. And then Saturday they've got a, a photo shoot they've got to be at. That's not for very long. So I should be able to record some some episodes this Saturday. I am still planning on uh, finishing up my Invasion series. Um, but like I said, this is priority right now. So if I get some free time, I definitely will be doing that. Um, but, you know, that most likely won't happen until uh, maybe after this weekend. I don't know yet. Because Sunday for us is going to be a whole other day of sh like being on set shooting and stuff. So, can we not actually get in this base? What the hell? What do you need? Yeah, so, I mean, I will be doing uh, finishing up the Invasion series, the Minecraft series. So, there it is. So, look for that Minecraft series to be finishing up in the next little while. Well, maybe next couple weeks or so. Hopefully I can get a day where I can record. And I've, I've also picked up another game. It's called Seven Days to Die. It was the one that got me into um, um, playing the Invasion series again. Um, and I've been playing that when... Uh, see, it's the Iron Curtain. Why can't I remember that? I knew it was like Russian, something Russian thingy, but it's Iron Curtain. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I've been playing that kind of... Uh, whenever, I com whenever I'm compressing videos at night, I've just been kind of diddling around playing in that to see how it goes. Combat Shield. Combat shield. Um, 
just to see how things play out and stuff. We can sell this too. It's only two million though. Double uh, XL gyro again. Going to grab that because we might have use for it. Uh, yeah, so I've been playing that, so I might do a series on that in the future. Ooh, yes, weapon mount. Thank you very much. Rangefinder double plus. Uh, I think we take the patchwork though. Because we are low on patchwork materials right now. Yeah. And then we'll see what mech parts we get out of this. I'm seeing a lot more of these emergency cooling systems now. Uh, compact heat sinks. No, there's nothing really else. Blue field shield generator. You know, this is one of those things where I, I want to get. We've got three of them. I want to get them in some of the mechs. But I don't know yet. All right, let's confirm this. All right, one, two catapult parts. One, two, three defiance parts. Two, two iron curtain and an urban, two urban mech parts. Okay, not bad. A few more things we can sell. The weapon mount is going to be a huge bonus. That is going to be going on um, the Timberwolf C with the uh, uh, Ultra 20. That's where I want to put this one. So we'll have to see if we can squeak it in. It's going to cost me a ton. So I'll have to figure out where we can lose some, some weight. We may have to drop the uh, heavy improved lasers for something a little smaller. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. Hey, we took Kobe from Comstar. Yes. And nothing in repairs. That's awesome. Once again, this land's proved itself. I mean, it was three and a half skull, so I think we're going to have to get into a four and a half skull mission. Um, Comstar is not really offering us as much, um, much in the way of uh, competition right now. Let's have a look at the star map. I just wish we had more Falcons playing all, all the time. So we're able to flip this planet back. Nice, not by much, but still, it's enough to be able to. Say we still have that planet, which is nice. They're flipping planets along here. I thought about heading over here and flipping some planets, but um, yeah, I don't know. Some of these are like half skull worlds, and it's just not. I mean, we gotta we gotta play within our strengths. So, what is, Ghost Bear's got a? Oh, that's the free Rassel hike. They've only got two planets left. <laughs> uh, they are trying. Wow. I, I'm really loving how this map is like... Wait, who's... Go what's going on up here? Is this Wolf or is this... It is Wolf. Okay, I thought it was like Ice Alien or something. Yeah. Somebody's back here fighting for the Falcons anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're just got the munchies. They're just down there and get something to eat. Torians, man, what are they doing over here? This is Oregon Coalition. Anyway, so the map's looking actually kind of what the hell is going on with this free Rassel Hag, or Mass? Oh, sorry, Magistracy of Canop Canopus, or Magistracy Magistracy of Canopus. Why well, I, I just call it Magistry. That's um, I love how that you know. We can just, like, shape the map board. This is the uh, Tortuga Dominions. New Delphi Compact, really, eh? Wow. That's, you know, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm interested to see where this map goes to before the 6th when uh, um, the Urban uh, Warfare... Um, uh, new uh, re expansion comes out. I'm really interested to see how wh what the map looks like then, because it's changing really fast over these past few days. And look at this, we've got a, enough time to pull off another mission each, but we we can't do it here because there's nothing. There's no real contracts here for us to do that. Although we could have. We could have. I mean, we could always do. Well, no, it's too easy a job. Probably take intelligence agent and, pi and bail to another. Like it's only nine days away. But that'll be for next episode. We'll figure that out then. All right. So I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, me, me rambling on. Uh, yeah, so uh, like I said, I'm hoping to get um, at least one episode out of night for the next little bit. And hopefully, maybe, I know I said this last weekend, but maybe after this weekend coming up, we can get back under the two, mis or, yeah, two missions a night schedule. Or, sorry, not 
two episodes a night schedule that is one for uh uh falcon freeborn and one for um night witches but uh yeah both series are still going to be going on uh until uh urban warfare comes out and then we'll see what happens after that uh we'll probably be starting over i'll come up with another concept and we'll figure out what we're going to do uh it seems that more people seem to be liking the, the clans fighting right um more people are watching Falcon Freeborn than they are Night Witches. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I guess maybe they like the climax or whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter to me either way, but we'll choose something. And uh, once that once Urban Warfare comes out, which I'm really looking forward to, some of the uh, the um, uh, playthroughs and screenshots I've seen look really really nice. So I'm hoping to hoping that turns out really really well. All right, so uh, leave the episode there. Hope you liked it. If you did, did drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please please feel free to subscribe, and uh, you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Uh, and once again, this episode I forgot to use enhanced imaging, so please feel free to kick my ass again in the comments for forgetting to do that. Oh my god, I got to get used to that. Um, I'll try to remember it for night for the night witches episode. Uh, I'll probably be doing later tonight. All right, so until next time, we'll see everybody later.